I am 36 weeks pregnant and finally starting to get ready for baby Jack to arrive. Come nest with me. Welcome back to Lima Bean Living. If you guys are new here, my name is Emily. Welcome to my little motherhood channel where I take care of all things mom. I am 36 weeks pregnant today as I'm filming and I've just kind of been putting off like getting things ready just because for those of you guys who are new, um, we are getting a new build and it's not going to be ready until about two months after my baby is born. We're having a little boy and so we're living at my parents. We're kind of just making things work around here. So I don't have like a nursery or anything like that. And I've kind of been postponing getting ready because I kind of figured if the baby came any earlier than today, he'd probably be in the NICU and we'd have time to kind of scramble and get things ready anyways. So that's kind of why I've been putting things off. <laughs> but I kind of figure while I still have some of the energy and some of the ability to move uh, I might as well get the stuff done now so tonight it's kind of like an after dark thing because my daughter's asleep and this is really the only time I can really dedicate to getting everything I want done tonight we are going to be setting up this room this is where I will be staying postpartum I have a recliner which my husband brought in from the other room that is what I pretty much slept on the first I don't know, at least the first few weeks once my daughter was born. So I'm anticipating sleeping in that. We have a pack and play that we're going to set up here that has like a changing table. And then we got this bed that I'm sitting on in case I can actually manage to like lay down. I'm hoping for a VBAC. So maybe I'll actually be able to like lay down and sleep instead of needing the recliner. But I got a lot to set up. So instead of just telling you guys what I need to do, let's actually get it done. So over the last like many days and maybe even a couple weeks, we've started just kind of collecting all of the baby stuff and bringing it down to this downstairs bedroom. This is kind of the area where I want to put the pack and play and I have a lot of crafts. So I started off by just getting the room smelling nice. I love like a good peach candle and had to move all of my crafting stuff. I'm just kind of moving it in a different place in the room where there's not going to be a lot of heavy traffic. But yeah, I had to move it out of the way. And then setting up the pack and play is, you know, fairly easy. We bought a little mattress insert um, when Aubrey was little. So got that out. Um, thankfully, we kind of were able to access this from our storage unit. And then I'm turning on the light here just to kind of see what it would be like in the middle of the night. So I'm turning off like all the lights that I had in the room and I'm like okay if I wake up in the middle of the night I think this will be doable where I can change Jack's diaper and then get him back to sleep and not have it be too bright in the room so I wanted to kind of test that out just to kind of get a feel for it so I'm not like changing things around once he's finally here. And then I put on the little like diaper holder changing table, you know, helper <laughs> on the side and broke out these size one diapers and they're just so tiny. Like I know that there's new newborns and preemie diapers and all that stuff and they're even smaller, but I just like, I don't remember size one diapers being this small. <laughs> it's been a while and most of our babies in our family are like big so we start off with size one anyways but I unloaded that whole thing packed up the side there was one more pack in this the package that we got from Target that I didn't open yet and then we did make an Amazon registry we really didn't add too much to it but they give you like a little welcome basket if you buy at least like one thing from the registry so I just kind of went through and took out all of the stuff, um, placed it where it belonged in the changing table, and then like with the little onesie that they gave us, I'll be washing that in a little bit. If 
So I know that like there's there's kind of two different groups of people. There are those who buy new clothes and then know that they need to wash them before they put them on themselves or their children. And then there's the other group of people that like buy the clothes and wear them right away. I'm kind of like in the second group. I haven't been very sensitive to new clothes or new materials. But with Aubrey and Jack, I kind of, I don't know, I, I think because I know that some people advocate for washing the clothes, I kind of feel like I need to. And in my Amazon gift bag, there was some laundry detergent like for newborns. So I figured, you know what, I'm just gonna go ahead and wash what I have and like wash some of Aubrey's old clothes using that. And then we'll probably just incorporate all of our kiddos clothing with our own washes. And if there's any problems that come up, we'll deal with them. But I haven't had any issues with like sensitive skin because of the laundry detergent so far. So hopefully that will be, you know, the same with Jack. By this time in the evening, I did need to take a break and I figured I would film Jack moving around in my belly. But once I was done kind of resting for this short little period, I got back to working and started to set up our car seat. Um, the straps were still like way up high just from when Aubrey used it last. And it felt really weird lowering them to like the bottom one. I'm guessing Jack's gonna be pretty tall. We may have to move it to the center like holes, but I guess we'll see about that. I also found a very old Cheerio <laughs> somewhere in there. And uh, hopefully I won't find anything else in the rest of our stash of baby stuff. But our car seat is all prepared. Now we just need to add it to our car. In this bucket is where I kept our bath stuff. I found this cute little like toothbrush thing that I got probably from Dollar Tree. And we just have some of like the baby blankets. And so I'll be washing those along with all of our clothes as well. And then I needed to give this little bathtub a wipe down because it was in storage. There were like dead bugs in there. It was gross. So that got nice and clean and set up for the newborn stage. So by this time in the evening, it was super late. I was happy to get the bath, the car seat, our little lounger, and the pack and play all set up. I also broke out some of these Dollar Tree baskets, and I plan on putting some of the freshly washed clothes in there so that while I'm changing Jack, I can, you know, get something out really quick and save space. But blew out my candle, went to bed. This is the next day because there's a, like a certain time in the day where laundry is less expensive to do, which seems weird, but that's how it is in California. And got some other new clothes that we got from like our gender reveal party, made sure to add those in and did this load of laundry. Then since Aubrey was finally awake, you know, new day and all, I went and grabbed some of the stuff that I really don't use with her anymore, put that in our pack and play changing station, then dried the clothes and had to fold them all. Woohoo! So as I was going through these, I was just kind of making like little piles of the size clothes. I broke out Aubrey's like newborn, zero to three months, three months, and then three to six month clothing, I think. I think that was the stages that I had to go through and just kind of separated out the onesies. For Aubrey, I really don't fold her clothes. I just kind of put like bottoms with bottoms, tops with tops, and we pick it out of the basket and it works out fine for us that way. But because here I had like so many onesies and I wanted to be really organized with the baskets, I just kind of folded them up so that they would fit nicely into their designated basket. Doing 
doing the laundry was really helpful because I realized we have a bunch of short sleeve onesies and like no pants for baby Jack. So that is something that I'm definitely going to have to pick up soon, especially since it is colder. Luckily, we're in California where it's not super, super cold like in other places, but you know, still Jack's going to need some pants. So that is on my to buy list for sure. We do have some sleepers and stuff like that, but I just want to make sure he's, you know, comfortable. I also set aside some clothes that will go in our hospital bag just so that I have, you know, a variety of things to choose from for him. And then just to kind of make it feel even more real, I laid out this little zip up like swaddle type sleeper thing, as well as like a onesie and some socks and a diaper. And it's just, you know, my due date is approaching and it just kind of helps me envision having him here a little bit more. But that wraps up today's video. I'd like to thank you guys for joining me as I kind of nest to get ready for Jack. I do plan on doing some other forms of nesting when it comes to like washing our car, putting the car seat in there, and hopefully I'll be able to film that and, you know, give you guys a glimpse at the final little touches in getting ready for his arrival. I also still need to pack my little hospital bag, so I will make sure to let you guys know what I plan on bringing and what I plan on just like leaving at home based on my prior experience and then also since I'm going to a new hospital, um, my sister's experience because she went to the hospital that I'm going to. So I'm just gonna take into account her experiences and kind of factor that in. So stay tuned for that video where I let you guys know what's in my hospital bag. And I'm just really excited to bring you guys along on this next like major life change for me and my little family. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. And again, if you guys are new, I'd love to have you stick around and subscribe and check out all of my motherhood content. And I'll catch you in the next one. to the end of the video. If you didn't know already, every Monday and Friday, you can find motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel. And since us moms have to do it all, that may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness, and I will catch you in the next one.